first, welcome to the year 2020. Um, if you've been a long time subscriber, thank you for sticking around. I apologize for my absence. Let's just say 2019 was a horrific year and I am ready for 2020 and better things. I hope to be back every week with a video. If I don't make it, please forgive me. Uh, also, I know the lighting is really bad right now, but I can't film where I usually film and I really wanted to get this video out for you for this week. So without any other rambling, let's get on to my current favorite glues. Alright, the thing I get asked most about probably, or I get asked a lot about, is putting wallpaper in a dollhouse. And if you have followed me for any length of time, you know that you I used to always use Yes Paste, which is a book binding glue. But it has become really, really hard to get. So I researched and found an alternative. And I've been using this border over wallpaper paste for a while. I don't remember exactly when I started using it, but it's been a while. The projects I've used it on worked out great. They've held up. There's been no discoloration. There's been no more bubbling than with Yes. So I think this is a legitimate substitution for Yes. So um, for wallpaper in your dollhouse, I feel this is great. You can get this. It doesn't have to be this brand. This is simply a border paste. It's used they say vinyl to vinyl. It's used to glue your border onto your wallpaper in your real house. Most paint stores will have a version of this. So this is my choice for wallpapering. All right, for just light duty glueing, like paper to paper, little craft projects for like making little accessories and things, I'm using Aline's original tacky glue now. It's a good lightweight when you want just a minimal amount of glue. It's a great option. It's the one I reach for the most for like mainly for paper projects, um, just little projects. It's it's my go-to. It's the least expensive, and I do stick with the Aileen brand. I've had some other, I would say, off brands, and I hadn't. I just didn't have the same luck with them. I am kind of a brand snob when it comes to glue. So for general glue, lightweight gluing, the original tacky glue. Super glues. Um, it seems like every time I do one of these glue videos, the super glue is the one that changes the most. Currently my very favorite is the Gorilla Super Glue Gel. Now my son picked up a bottle of super glue gel, I think he had gel, but a Gorilla Super Glue with a brush. For some applications, that would be awesome. I haven't picked that one up. But this Gorilla Super Glue, while I don't like regular Gorilla Glue for miniatures, I love their Super Glue. It is, in my opinion, the best one out there. It costs a little more than Loctite and some of those brands, but it's worth it. So if you're looking for a Super Glue, Gorilla. All right, I almost feel like I need a drum roll because this is my favorite glue overall for pretty much everything. It's Beacons 3-in-1. It is a clear glue. It starts out clear. It stays clear. Um, let me show you what it looks like coming out of the tube. It's kind of a thicker glue. You can see it's got some body to it. The only downside is it does string like a hot glue. You know how you get those glue strings. But this stuff will hold pretty much anything you want to hold and it dries fairly quickly. It's acid free. It's waterproof. It's completely clear, stays clear. It's got an instant grab. And yeah, it dries pretty quickly, especially for as thick as it is. 
I love this stuff. Uh, it is a little expensive. And even though it's a clear glue, it doesn't smell. I know a lot of people kind of shy away from glues that are clear because glues that are clear have a bad reputation for smelling bad. This doesn't. I don't see any, I don't smell any smell off of it at all. So I hope you found this video informative. I know it's really, really short, but I'm just coming back into recording. I haven't recorded a video in many, many months. So I'm going to come into this slowly and thank you for sticking with me and I'll try and see you next week. Bye.